In this tutorial, we are going to design an app which is going to display what we call a Fibonacci sequence. A Fibonacci sequence is a very important sequence that's very simple to create the next terms. Depending on the first two terms, for instance, in Fibonacci, the first two terms are 0, 1, the next term is the sum of the previous two terms. So 1, 1 plus 0 gives you 1, then 1 plus 1 gives you 2, then 2 plus 1 gives you 3, 3 plus 2 gives you 5, 5 plus 3 gives you 8, 8 plus 5 gives you 13, 13 plus 8 gives you 21, 21 plus 13 gives you 34, and so on. So we are going to design an app. What it does, it does ask the user for first term, second term, the number of terms to display, and then it's going to display those terms in a text box. So let's go ahead and design the app. Let's start a new project, and we call it Fibonacci Sequence. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the, the display, the title. So I'm going to copy this one, Fibonacci sequence. Go here and then the title is going to be Fibonacci sequence. Now we need to get input for the first term, second term then uh, the number of terms, then we need a button to start the process and also we need a text box to show the result. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to use the layout and I'm going to drag and drop a table layout with two columns but this time with five rows. Now, the first thing we're going to drag is a label and we're going to say first term then we're going to drag and drop a text box right beside it and I'm going to change the name of text box to term 1 And I'm going to erase the hint here. The next one I'm going to drag and drop is the next label. And I'm going to type term 2. And then the <coughs> next one which I'm going to drag and drop is the text box, I'm going to change it to term 2 and I'm going to erase the hint. The next one I'm going to drop is number of terms. So I'm going to type terms now I'm going to drag and drop a text box again and this time I'm going to call it terms. This tells me how many terms I have to display. The next one is just a button. And I'm going to change the text to start process. And the last thing I need is a text box. I change the name to result and since this is a text box and we will have more than two or three terms if we don't set the multi-line property of the text box to true then it's going to show everything on one line so I'm going to go first I'm going to erase the hint then I'm going to go down and where it says multi-line, I am going to check it. 
so everything seems to be correct now we can go the only thing we, we probably is not a bad idea to change is the way that this label is shown here the alignment is left let's change the text alignment to be right this one to be right and this one to be right now let's see how it looks in the designer this hint for text box one for the term so let's fix that one so now let's go ahead and design the blocks since we are going to use term one and term two to add up and we have to what we call swapping i need to introduce three variables so let's create one variable let's call it <coughs> term one initially we set the value to be zero I duplicate this one, I call this one turn two. And the last one I'm going to duplicate and call it temp. It's a temporary variable, which we are going to use to swap the values of term one and term two. So everything is done with the variables. Now I'm going to go and check to see when the button is clicked when the button is clicked what I want to do is that because I don't want to use term 1 and term 2 text boxes because I have to change the values and it's going to change the values on the screen too so I'm going to set term 1 to be equal to the value of the text box so term 1 dot text then I'm going to change turn two to be now we are going to uh, join these two values the first initial two terms and uh, put it inside the results text box so I'm going to say result set result text to be join of turn one but I'm going to use these global variables so I'm going to say turn one now because I want turn two to be on the next line to do that going to the next line I'm going to use a special slash n which causes the next output to go to the next line and then i'm going to duplicate this one and then put term two and then i'm going to add it to result.txt so whenever i hit the button it's going to clear the text box the result and it's going to show me term one and term two now i have to go through a loop and start displaying other terms remember that they have already displayed two terms so whatever the user enters in in the number of terms you just subtract two from it so this five i'm going to okay so i'm going to put terms The value text minus two because you have already printed the, the first two terms now what are we going to do inside the loop is simple we are going to because we have to swap okay these two terms already are displayed in result text box now to get this one I'm going to add these two now the first term that used to be zero is going to have term two which is one 
and term 2 is going to have the sum of the terms okay which is 1 and 0 which becomes 1 so I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to say temp I'm going to set temp to be equal term 1 so I'm going to get term 1 And then I'm going to set term one to be equal to term two. And then term two becomes the sum of term temp and term two. So it's going to be the sum of temp remember temp is term one and then the sum with term two so initially it's going to be term one plus term two which is correct and this becomes the second term now and it goes around the loop and does the same thing this process of swapping you always need a temporary variable which we call the temp in this case. Now, when you are done with this one, I have to update with uh, result. So I'm going to drag and drop result here, and then I'm going to join the previous result. So this one I don't need it. So I'm going to duplicate this one, put it here, change this one to result, so whatever the result contains, the previous terms, go to the next line, and then I have to join term 2 to this, whatever it, it was inside the result. I just made a mistake. This one is outside the loop, which has to go inside. Now let's go and uh, see how the app works for instance if i type 0 and 1 five terms start process it shows me 0 1 so 1 plus 0 gives you 1 1 plus 1 gives you 2 2 plus 1 gives you 3 if i say instead of 5 let's say first term is negative 1 and 10 let's see what it shows me negative one first of all two four six eight ten terms negative one plus one is zero zero plus one is one one plus zero is one one plus one is two and so forth so you can see that the app works